Hey guys. I was playing Fortnite, but I didn't really get to play. I was like trying, but Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. Hold on, guys. Yes, I know she. Is. And I wanted to say something because it's funny. Hold on, guys. I have something that I have to do. Just that you feel it and you know right away, like, okay, this is going to be a game. This is going to be a game. My phone service is coming Tuesday or Wednesday. They're sending the SIM card, so I don't. Maybe it might be better Wi-Fi, but I'm on data right now. There's that. So I'm on the data right now. Yeah, Sam's Cola because everything else is boycotted. So yeah. That's um that's why. Tuesday or Wednesday. So, yeah. No dog? What dog? What dog? Guys, because it's really messing up.
and your lies. You tried to say that I sent a cat that I was abusing to the shelter when literally she has peaches. Ah, oh, so where, why is peaches not in a shelter discord? Can you explain that one? Oh, and what about her? She growling. That my story wasn't fake? That my story was fake? That I unalived my dog? How come she confirmed my story? Mm. Are here for you. you know what's funny is that everyone tried to say that my story was fake about how my dog went missing but literally confirmed that her she was growling oh so that's a lie too you know how people are getting caught in their lies after lies after lies trying to lie on me oh yeah that poor kitty was getting abused so-called what people said right and that we sent it to the shelter if that orange cat that you were sharing was literally peaches then why why does she have peaches huh explain that one you can't explain why some but he has a cat that you said we took to the shelter oh Oh, the Discord gets caught in so many lies. Hey. So you just gonna let somebody get you caught in your guys' lies? They're not helping your situation. They're making it worse. You guys are getting caught as liars. Mmm. Oh. oh, Peaches is at the shelter, guys, right? We took Peaches to a shelter and dumped her there, but yet she has Peaches. So, why is it Peaches? is at the shelter like you guys claim you guys so claim that peaches was at the shelter but yet she has peaches yeah what i thought what i thought what i thought There's no back talk. You can't say nothing, can you? Cat got your tongue. Cat got your tongue. You don't expect somebody my height and size Oh, yes, she did. Cardi B liked my video, guys. I was Known by Cardi B. Yeah, Cardi B knows I exist. When that happens, I will have service. So you guys, it should work good because there's towers close by. Oh, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, I did see someone subscribed. I forgot. Yeah, I did see someone subscribed. I forgot to say thank you. I'm also going to post updates in the subscriptions tab. So if you guys haven't subscribed, please do because I will be sharing updates. I'm going to be working on more emotes. Um, the... Um, the... What is that place? You know what place? Canva. I'm going to be using Canva for emotes. So, if you do want to subscribe, please do. Because I'm going to be sharing
for the subscri subscriptions and it's messing up. I don't know what's going on. Shawn Michaels versus The Undertaker rivalry. That's what they're talking about. Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. One of the greatest Hell in a Cell matches of all time is The Undertaker versus Mick Foley. Hell in a Cell. Mankind. I believe it was. That's the greatest match of all time. Fight me on it because I'm a huge Mick Foley fan, okay? Mankind. That's why I had to get his autograph. Mankind. Paul Bear. It's zoomed in, you're super close. Yeah, it's because I have the extension, so I can't push it back all the way. I'm like, <laughs> I can't. Anyways, where is that so-called cat we were abusing? Like, it was at the shelter, right? You know what was funny is that they took a picture of a random cat to try to say that was Peaches. What other life is the Discord going to get caught in? <laughs> it's like a soap opera. I should be like, next time on the lies they tell. And it, it, it's like, it's going to be a soap opera that I may call the lies they tell. And literally show them getting... Caught in their lies. One lie after another, the lies they tell. As the lies they tell turns. <sighs> Funny. The Undertaker. The Undertaker refused to fight his brother Kane, but because of that Kane started interfering in all of the Undertaker. But it, it's it's just. But it, it's, it's just funny. It's telling how the Discord gets called out. All of their lies.
the beneficiary. You know how. The beneficiary. You know how people tried to take. Not anymore. Is it working now? Now? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, it's very telling. Are obsessed with me, but they can't even feed themselves. They can't even a pay. They can't even afford to pay their own rent. But you're so concerned about me. Oh no, it's not working. It's not working, y'all. It's not working, guys. Amazing. I'm obsessed with humans on the We know you didn't do that alone. Oh Zam. Now I have that that remixed Ozempic song in my head. You were fat, but you're not. You know it was once on life support, your grandmother. Oh, I'm sure glad they pulled the plug on her. <laughs> Flatline. Like I said, people should just leave me alone. For some reason, this data is trash. But we are we are getting um we are getting service on Tuesday. So Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll have my service, and then we will, you know. Kevin Nash. I didn't, well, I kind of saw him, but I didn't talk to him, but I talked to Booker T, though, me and my mom. He's a pretty cool dude. Look. <laughs> uh, where did that come from? Uh, oh, the, the grandma on life support because someone said something and I responded to them. Saying my crocs are on life support and I said the grandma's on life support and someone, someone should have pulled the plug. Sorry, that may be horribly rude, but yeah, you're harassing me, so. Not you, but the person that said my crocs are on life support because they made an account after they got blocked. And that's harassment. Like, I could never understand not liking someone and then constantly harassing them. Especially doxing someone. That's crazy. I could never understand that either. <laughs> to literally be like, oh, we, we, we got the area where she's in. Okay, what are you going to do with that information? I got proof that you and another person doxed me. My nose is super itchy. Sorry, guys. I have proof. From your discord that you're actively trying to dox me with a person that was live trying to dox me not wise not wise at all because this will be provided to a lawyer too and i'm gonna ask a lawyer because 
I'm working on getting a lawyer for being called a predator. Oh, you know what's, speaking of predators, you know what's funny? Why are you all mad silent about Jasmine's relationship? If I'm a predator, why are you not concerned with a 29, almost 30 year old man getting with Jasmine who just turned 18? And he, and say, and he or she, cause I don't know what Jasmine goes by literally saying my man my man my man on live stream literally on live stream literally bragging that she's with a 20 people literally love to say stuff that's untrue but they don't take action behind it you know that's like people saying i'm in danger but yet you didn't do anything you didn't do anything You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything to put yourself in protection. See, when I was in danger, I was in danger, and I felt I was. I was in danger, and I felt I was in danger because the Discord was taking photos saying they were. motel at, a, at the other motel I was at, trying to say that they were right. I did. I'll tell you exactly what I did. I called the police. I called the police and I said, that is weird. And having contact with them day in and day out. That is also weird. Explain that one. Why would you live next to someone? Why would you live next to someone, have contact? Wilmania. When you're that good. Wilmania. When you're that good, you can get beaten. Terry Bradshaw. Oh, oh, oh. Hmm. Funny. Funny, boo. Funny. Hmm. That's suspicious. That's weird. That's suspicious. That's weird. You literally feel that threatened that you let some, the person that threatens you take you to work every day and you live right next to them? That's suspicious. That's weird. Mmm, Asian too porn. Because I don't know why people literally say that. That's not true. That's not true. And Space Kitten wouldn't take down the video. Oh. Oh. You mean to tell me Space Kid and posted You mean to tell me Space Kid and posted somebody a minor's nudes and minor's nudes and refused to take it down but but they That's why I, I don't let any of these affect me because I am going to get a lawyer to clear my name. And when it is cleared, you're going to look 
you're gonna look absolutely idiotic because I do have the screen recording of my search history from when that happened, which I'm going to take that to court with me, along with other proof of evidence. Oh, what is so funny to me is why people keep getting caught in their lies. You know what's funny is it's all projection. You know why people want to say I mess with kids because I called out Leslie, because I called out Nova, because I talked about Davi Vanity, the same people that turn around and support these so-called predators. Oh, and then on top of that, I'm getting double canceled because I support a supposed child abuser, which isn't even a child abuser. Maybe That makes sense. While listening to someone who has a record that they did something to a minor trigger warning when they was 16 and the minor was 13. Oh, all those people literally supported a guy that abused his children and his wife. Trigger warning beat. beat his children over chicken wings oh but you want to listen to those people bring up someone's record when they literally have predators in their app platforming them mm. Isabella the stalker always has shit to say about someone else and their charges. What about you sitting in and Leprechaun's live stream? And you know who Leprechaun is? Blank street, you know, street blank. I'm not going to say his name because you get blocked. Doxing black women, mind you, threatening black women. And also has a record for being 16, doing something to a 13 year old. And is literally hit, is literally related to a to a serial on a liver. Also, trigger warning has photos of himself in a bathtub with children while doxing a mother, doxing a mother and a daughter which is all over twitter talking about some young 16 year old's breasts in a comment section saying is it okay for him to talk about that but you isabella existed in his space and you're in the discord talking so much shit saying how i support a, a supposed child abuser and that's why you're trying to cancel me but you sat in leprechaun space after he has all of this proof which is literally posted on twitter for everyone to see mr jeffrey perez if you want to go look him up and not the impersonator that impersonates Michael Jackson, Jeffrey Perez Jr., I believe. Go search up and you will see his record. And you want to sit here and try to cancel me over who I associate myself with? That's wild. But you existed in this space, Isabella, knowing he had those records, knowing that he docks the mother and her daughter, knowing, right, knowing that he literally was saying disgusting stuff all over Twitter and the only reason why he can't delete it is because he forgot his password. It's still on Twitter. But you wanna listen to those people. Isabella has been talking shit about me. All, um, toxic, toxic pal, toxic pal now. I'll, I'll, I'll find the username and let y'all know who Isabella's username is. The same one that exists in the Discord, hanging around pedophiles, calling me a P3O, but yet, yeah, literally, if you felt that way, where's the police? They haven't shown up to my place. I will gladly show them the screen recording from, from the search history of the time that they tried to say that I was watching something. It doesn't have that stuff in it. Nice. try but isabella loves to hang around predators loves to hang around predators but i'm a predator isn't your friend leprechaun oh yeah just like i thought
I was at a monitor, a bunch of us women were all watching, so, you know, there was that really That's scary Phoenix. moment, that really awkward fall. Sorry, this the rest they're showing the wrestling show on Sunday that they show rivals. This is Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. Rivalry. Checkmate. How do you guys involve yourselves with predators, but then you think I'm one? You had Leslie in your Discord, didn't you? You had Nova in your Discord, didn't you? You even had Leprechaun in your Discord, didn't you? Say he would love it there. Of course he would, because there's minors in your Discord. You give access to predators to have conversations with minors in your Discord. And you're going to lie and say that didn't happen, because I know they're going to... try to say he wasn't in their discord i got screenshots of you saying that he would love it in your discord so don't lie discord so don't lie i've got screenshots but what's funny is poor person who you're gonna bang loudly on someone's door because you ordered pizza to the wrong room <laughs> you do know that you're gonna bother somebody else right I feel so bad for whoever's gonna get a loud bang on their door for pizza that isn't theirs. This is a hero walking his youngest. Cause someone just literally ordered pizza and I got the confirmation in my email. You know you sent it to the wrong door, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. That person's gonna get harassed to their door, and when it happens, I'm gonna say, you know what? Let that girl know. There was a girl staying here, Nicole, and she's the one who 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 people think that. That that's my room number because of her. And I'm going to be like, she's working with a Discord. And I'm going to give them Isaac's name. And I'm going to be like, there's this guy named Isaac Haro who is behind you getting bothered at your door. I have nothing to do with it. You just messed up. You just messed up. <laughs> that's going to provide more proof to me that was going down i didn't have nothing to do with it i was playing fortnite i was minding my business and as for mr randall i'm not joining this live stream randall wants me to join his live stream because i said he commented heart eyes under a minor's post you did what why do you want me to go to your live stream for mr randall you should worry about working on rekindling your relationship with your kids, especially telling the truth about why you had two kids unalived in a fire, but you didn't care. You lied to the internet telling that you lost two kids in a fire that you didn't lose. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, but I unalived my dog, right? But uh, supposedly she says she heard the dog growling which matches up with my story. So she's literally telling you all, which confirms my story, but I unalive my dog. That is so funny. People getting caught and more lies after more lies after more lies. More lies after more lies after more lies after more lies. <laughs> Funny. Arguably the greatest WrestleMania career of all time against the greatest streak. I'm not getting docs. It's not my room number. It's not my room number. You think I'm going to say that's my room number? That's not even my room number. Why would I? Like, I can see people commenting a room number that's not mine. That's not my room number. Try again. that big a superstar and you're responsible for his last match yeah a lot of people dm me on insta <laughs> people think it's funny to dox people but that's not that's not my room number either is that the like crying thing of like vince mcmahon because i think that's so funny how the match should go and he wrote it all to do 
something with substance. <laughs> it, it's not even that either. You think I'm going to tell you what room number I'm in? You know, this is just going to help provide a case against Isaac Harrow in the Discord. You do know that, right? You're just literally proving. Like, I didn't even dox myself. That's the funny thing. Yeah, at least the Apple Store girl. You know what's funny? You say me and the Apple Store girl are the same age. She looks older than I do. That's a yikes. You are correct. That girl looks older than me. I thought that girl was in her 40s. To be truthfully honest with you, that is very scary at the fact that you said we're the same age, but she looks older. Yikes. How do you look like you're 40? Th them wigs ain't doing you good, sis. Those crunchy wigs ain't doing nothing for you. I'm sorry, those those wigs that you bought with money that you stole from people claiming that you needed money for things, because I know you've been talking shit about me on this app. You are done for. You literally let your nieces and nephews do something to one of your, your nieces and nephews, right? She was saying, stop, stop, and you continue to do your wig on live. That's why you don't have access to see them anymore. Is it that correct or is that not correct? You're bringing up shitty people that I literally don't care anything about. That Apple Store girl has been running her mouth on this app specifically on Vigo talking shit about me. I don't care enough about you. I heard enough that I needed to hear. I don't care. I don't care. You're literally telling me about an Apple Store girl I don't care about that looks 30. She looks older than I do. I didn't even know she was 29. Well, not 30, 40. She looks 40. I didn't even know. Like, I didn't even know we were the same age. I thought she was older than me. That's a yikes. You look 64? No, I don't. Where do I look 64? Where? I don't even look 64. <laughs> Funny. You look ancient AF. Your mom's ancient. Isn't she a pile of dust sitting somewhere in the corner? So I would suggest you worry about talking to that urn every night, please. Right? You you literally want to sit here and be like, you look ancient. Your mom looks ancient. She's sitting in that dusty ass urn in the corner. So worry about that. I was about to be ash. Well, actually, my mom's doing pretty good. You look ashy. That 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 didn't that didn't eat like you thought it ate. Like I said, your I said that person's mom is a pile of dust, like ashes in an urn, and you tried to to pull the a joke that I said and it didn't eat. I'm sorry. I look ashy. I don't even look ashy. Where? <laughs> oh, where's Bernadette? While well, she's six feet in the ground next to other babies that have died. My sister didn't survive because. Bernadette was a stillborn. My mom had a stillborn baby that was fully black, you know, looked fully black because her dad was also black, which wasn't my dad because she had another dad. Uh, go figures, you know. There's always usually uh, three kids and one of them has a different dad. So there's that. Um, so yeah, she's six feet in the ground. I know exactly where she is because I do visit her from time to time. A very lovely, beautiful name. If you ask me, Bernadette is such a beautiful name. You know, I visit her often when I can, along with my dead grandmother as well. Would you like to bring up my dead uncle? Because I really don't care. Like, you you talk about my dead relatives like I'm supposed to care. Like, I'm supposed to be upset that you brought up my dead relatives. But you know what is the thing about all these relatives that died? They died loving me. Your relatives died hating you. That's the same thing. How sad is it that your mother died just to get away from you? Your grandmother died because they didn't want anything to do with you. My grandmother said we were the only grandchildren she ever loved before she died. Because we visited her. I visited my grandma every time I could by bus, even when I didn't have a car. None of her grandchildren went to visit her or see her, and they drove. She said, you and Donald are the only grandchildren that come to visit me, and you don't drive. I walked to her house, which was a far walk from the bus stop to there just to see my grandmother. And she died knowing that she loved me. And how is it that your mother and your grandmother died just to get away from you? 
and you want to talk about dead relatives at least my grandmother died loving me and i know because i'm at peace you know i was kind of sad because i didn't get a photo with my grandmother before she died but she said when we were in that hospital she said you guys are my favorite grandchildren so if if, if if my if my grandmother died knowing if my grandmother died loving us that's all that i need in my life to keep going knowing that my grandmother died loving me but your grandmother died hating your guts how does that feel that's all i could ever ask for if every one of my family members died knowing that i cared that's the best thing that i could ever ask for i have life and i can and i can't ask for any more well you miserable defending behind a man that literally is substance abuse usage and sells himself for drugs can't even pay his own rent mind you and literally can't even afford to feed himself projection at his finest because most of you guys come from that dusty discord that literally has a man in there that can't even pay his own bills and his name is not even on the lease. Talk about that because when I get an apartment, you know whose name is gonna be on the lease when I get an apartment? My name, because I have to help pay bills, which my income's gonna be included for me to get this apartment. Oh, how am I gonna get an apartment with no job, you say, right? Because you have to have a job to get into an apartment because you have to show that you're, you have income, right? Oh. He can't say that. His name isn't going to be on no lease. Mmm. Mmm. Exactly. I'm not concerned about dusty, crusty, rusty Doritos that don't even have no jobs. They talk about me getting the job, but they're active 24-7 on my page, spamming from Instagram to TikTok all day, every day. Like, they ain't got nothing better to do. I've been making t-shirt designs. On top of that, I, today I was finally able to play Fortnite. You know, I could choose to do whatever I want with my day because I have the freedom to do so. Can't, can't say that about you because here's all these people that are obsessed with me. Here's what they do. I, 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 I got I to gotta harass Sophia. You know, it's like it's their fix, right? It's like they're on some sort of drug. They have to be thinking about me 24-7 in order for them to feel better about themselves. Their whole day is consumed with me. They have to get their fix. They're like Smeagol in the corner, Gollium. You know, Gollium, my precious, in the corner. Like, literally, that's them. If I could describe, like, if I could describe the haters as a, com a, co a combined photo, it would be Gollium in the corner. You don't know who Gollium is? Smeagol? Lord of the Rings, my trash is that guy. Yeah, Gollum. He also goes by Smeagol, but I don't know what his original name. But people also call him by another name, Gollum and Smeagol. Don't believe me? Look it up. These people are like, like so addicted. They've got like donut powder on the side of their mouth. That's how obsessed they are. They're foaming at the mouth every time they get some sort of little bit of information to like dox me because of an incident that happened earlier that I have nothing to involve myself with. And I'm going to end it here once and for all. That dog that you tried to say was mine is not my dog. Did you hear that dog running in the background of someone else's live stream? Whose dog do you think it was? Why do we have someone else's dog? Why get a dog if you can't take care of it? And I'm left to be attacked on social media for a dog you couldn't take care of. That's crazy. You didn't tell people that it was your dog. You didn't come online and say, I'm the one who has a dog. Because you don't want people to know you can't take care of your pets. Three cats and they're all in a cage. But yet people are concerned about an empty room that I don't have with no pets. But you have three cats and one dog in a motel room. And you kept those cats in a cage. Oh, and what about Peaches, right? People said, Peaches, we dumped her at the shelter. If Peaches is at the animal shelter, as you say, how come she has Peaches in her room right now as we speak? Literally say, come here, Peaches, come here. But yet, all over the internet, I got dragged for a cat that wasn't mine because she got a cat she couldn't have at her house, and we had to watch it because she couldn't keep the cat at her house. Why don't you tell people about that? We're abusing a cat that wasn't even ours, which we didn't even abuse because people were trying to say, oh, we got videos, whatever. But I did what I could as a, as a 
because let me tell you something i should be taking care of someone's cat in a motel room that you keep getting these pets expecting us to take them in because you couldn't have them at your mom's house why don't you tell people that every single animal that she has ever gotten and i'm going to tell you this is is that has been seen like that dog that you all saw at the other apartment when you call animal control was not my dog but it was hers and we had to rehome that dog because she couldn't have it and you know what's very suspicious? Every dog that you've gotten ended up unalived or missing. Where's Veto? Where's Prince? Where's Latte? Three dogs already. The other one got rehomed, so we know exactly where that dog is at. And you got another dog? You've had five dogs and you haven't even had them more than a year. And you want to talk? You want to talk? You want to sit here and, 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 and let my family get dragged for pets that you don't take care of? That dog was whining in the background. We had to feed that dog because she had no dog food. None. She didn't give us no dog food for that dog. Why is the dog living at my room because you don't take care of your pets? living with me and i'm the one that has to kind of keep this dog quiet and make sure no one hears it in the background because then i get blamed at the fact that i have a dog in my room that isn't mine and people said that i replaced my dog hershey because you got a pet that you couldn't take care of well you tried to walk your fat ass to my room and try to dox my room for whatever reason because you're mad someone stole from you and you were letting them sneak through the window that you wasn't even paying for them what a damn shame. What a damn shame it was. I'm getting all of this freaking flack after you wrote a fucking Christmas card telling me I'm sorry for everything that I caused for you on the internet, but you don't go online and clear the rumors up. You don't even say anything. If you were so sorry, your actions would have proved it. You would have went online and, and did what you did. You're so afraid of my brother, but you defended him weeks ago when you was on live with him a month ago. It's weird to me that you live next door to someone that you're so afraid of. If you was afraid for your safety, why are you living next to the person? At the same motel room. Make that make sense. Make that make sense. No, it wasn't even months ago. This girl has been having contact with my brother every single day. I live here. I've seen her. My brother was driving her to work every day. She is so afraid for her life, but she's asking my brother to take her to work. My brother literally told us Monday he was taking her to work. He said, Monday, I'm taking you early because we had errands we had to run, dropping you off because I have to take her to work on Monday. But she's so threatened, but yet you were just gonna get a ride Monday to work. Sweetie, you're not threatened. I don't know what your issue is with your roommate, but it has nothing to do with me. If you allowed someone to stay in your room, they trashed your room and they literally was not paying and they were stealing your stuff. What does that got to do with me? And you expect my brother to have that roommate get out of your room? You tell the roommate to get out. You're the one who okayed it. You're not, you can't speak up for yourself and say, hey, you're the one that's paying the room. Tell them to get out. You don't want someone to stay there. Tell them to get out. You can't even pay your bills. You can't even pay your room. That's why you got to leave. Because you can't afford your room. There's violence. There's and then you try to go on Beagle and talk shit on me. Why are you talking about me? I didn't have anything to say to you, but now I do. All those damn pets you have that you can't take care of that I face flack for. This dog that everyone said was mine, but it's yours. You have your dog. And that's going to end up missing too. If nobody actually cares. I feel bad for that dog. That dog's going to go missing. Something's going to happen to that dog. And I'm going to feel so bad. I really am. I'm concerned for the dog. I could care less about her. She is not threatened. My brother, my brother, it, no. You're so threatened, but you live next to someone that you literally feel threatened by. But you was gonna tell someone you was gonna go to their job and stab them with a knife. But you're the one, but you're threatened, but you're telling people you're gonna stab them?
Oh, I know that too. Telling people you're going to go stab them at their job. <laughs> Violent. Violent. similar mindset to make each other when you get two guys with the same <laughs> mentality and the same mindset you can get magic out there what about shorty bay um i don't have anything to say about shorty bay because i don't have any any beef with shorty bay besides what she said about me and that was a long time ago like i'm over shorty bay because her friends literally call her a clout chaser mm, i don't care because someone's telling me that apparently Shorty Bay unfollowed Jenica and Chickies and Jose Bay, and then I guess Jenica said some people are clout chasers, and I guess it was in reference to Shorty Bay. I don't know. She has her own issues with her friends. Like it, it, it's like for me, I don't have anything. That's why I don't talk about Shorty Bay because besides her talking about my living situation, that's it. And that was a long time ago. Like she's already, like, yeah, she's the pet. Like I. Told are telling me that's it like i didn't mention shorty bay like i don't really care this isn't about shorty bay so back on what we were talking about pets i face flack for every pet you know that infamous photo that people was trying to show all those pee pads all the way down the hallway because of it wasn't just hershey we had that made me realize there was two cats and a dog so we had four pets which was two dogs and two cats that wasn't even ours mind you her animals were pissing and shitting on my apartment floor that's why we had those training pads we had a puppy that was being trained to use the restroom so i don't understand why people don't hold this energy for people constantly getting pets and somehow they end up going missing why don't you tell them about anna anna oh you know anna my brother's hamster um it was at her sister's place and the hamster ended up getting caught in a rat trap got out and got stuck in a rat trap and because they couldn't properly take care of the hamster my brother had to rehome the hamster tell people that you don't even tell people you let me face flack for abusing my animals you know me in person and you want to spread all of these lies and these rumors about me because you're mad over a roommate you let stay in your room i don't have anything to do with this girl she's harassing my family she's harassing my family but no one's concerned about the three cats and a dog she has in her room she's not even supposed to have that many animals in this room you're only allowed two pets championship at WrestleMania 21. I still couldn't believe how crazy it was. It was just a few folks that thought I was army and promised myself I'd respect. I'm, you're saying y'all are both weirdos? I'm not a weirdo. I didn't even bother her. This chick has an issue because of something that happened with my brother because because my brother wouldn't remove that roommate from her room. She could have removed herself. She could have told that person she didn't want there. I don't have anything to do with this chick. I have not said anything about her in a, the longest time. I haven't even said anything about her because I was advised not to. Because I was told to stop talking about her because she whined to my brother and cried that I was saying shit about her. So he, told, he got mad at me and told me to stop talking about her. That's the thing. She can talk shit about me, but then be a big baby and cry to my brother and say, she's talking about me. Tell her to stop talking about me on the internet. But you come on the internet talking about me, girl. You come on the internet talking about me. You came to Beagle to talk shit about me and my brother. And I haven't even said anything to you. On the other app that I was just live on, I was talking about the Discord. Why are you crying to my brother? Be a woman. Stand up for yourself. So now you cry to him. And I wasn't allowed to say anything. That's why I couldn't address the rumors of victim shaming her because I was told to shut up. So I said, you know what? Just to be cordial because, you know, I didn't, I, I like, because this bitch is, was wham wham. I didn't say anything. So I stayed quiet and I was like, you know what? 
I'm not going to say anything. I, I'm just going to let people say that I victim shamed her because I can't address myself because this bitch is crying to my brother that I'm talking shit about her. I don't go to other people and say, stop talking about me. Like, I don't go to other people and say, tell them to stop talking about me. What are you, elementary school? Elementary school? You literally cried to my brother I was talking about you. And then I had to stop talking about you. But you sat in a live stream with K Wavy talking shit about me, right? But it's okay for you to go from live stream to live stream to get your 15 seconds of fame. Didn't you say you was going to go to Aunt Karen's live stream? Oh, I remember that one. I'm going to go tell Aunt Karen everything about them. Yeah, because you want views off of me. You don't have anything to do with my family or the situation that involved me in the Aunt Karen life. So why are you trying to go to Aunt Karen's life and tell her shit? Oh, I'm going to go to her life. You didn't think I was going to tell her about how you hit and kicked your cats? Oh, how you let your mom's house become a kitty litter because you refused to clean your room and you said that she had to clean it? Oh, well, it's not my house. They have to clean my room for me. You let your animals piss and shit on the floor, right? And then you wanted your mother to clean up after you. You let your animals use your room as a kitty litter. Cat litter. That is crazy. And you couldn't even change your kitty litter so they could use the bathroom properly. And you wanted to go on Aunt Karen's live and, that I heard and literally say shit that wasn't true. To get your 15 seconds of fame after you've caused nothing but problems for my family? Not to mention, when I was being called lazy, this bitch was laying in the other room, no job, no nothing, when Space Kitten sent her $20 talking about, I sent your sister-in-law $20 because she does more than you, but that bitch was laying in the bed, no job, no nothing. While I'm up every day going live making content <laughs> you were living in my apartment rent free you wasn't even paying no bills my dad was nice enough to let you live in his apartment rent free rent free just like you lived at your mom's house rent free you were staying at your mother's house rent free not paying no bills leaving your room trash that's why you really had your camera face at the ceiling you didn't want people to see what your room really looked like no it's not the same with me the reason why i have this green screen is because people actively dox me I have a right to have a green screen on if I want to. It's not because my room is trash, because they do uh they do weekly inspections here. So we've we've passed our inspections, mind you. They do weekly inspections here, so we can't have a trashed room because they're very strict here. So for you to say same with me, I, I didn't I had a green screen in my background because people was doxing me. At my apartment, I really didn't care at my old apartment because my old apartment was already doxed. They already knew where I lived. And the background was a white wall, mind you. So even even if it's like a white wall, I won't have a green screen. I'll have a place where I can go live where people can't dox me because they can't see the background of things and see, oh, that's where they're at. This is why I have a green screen for my safety and my protection. It's not because my room is trash. We passed our inspections. Can't say the same for other people, but hey. You want to always talk about me, but this person went out live talking shit about me, and I didn't even say anything about them. I didn't even tell nobody you was out of motel room. You told people yourself, and I'm going to lay it here straight. We're three years apart. That girl is 26. She is not 21. That girl is three years apart. My brother is three years apart from me. Bother the bugs. Not your family. Oh, I'm beefing with younger people? 
That girl is 26. What do you mean I'm beefing with younger people? She went on live stream to talk shit about me, and I didn't even say anything about her. This girl was the one who started with me. She was walking to my room while she was live, gonna try to dox me. Which I have video. I stood at my door videotaping this girl walking up to my room. She got stopped because my brother called the police on her. And she wants to... And I, and I didn't even do anything to her. That's crazy. Why does she try to cause me to get threatened? All because she had an issue with a roommate that had nothing to do with me. A roommate who was trashing her room and stealing her shit. But she literally wants to come at me for something that I don't have control over. Whatever she's got between her and my brother is between her and my brother. Why is she always dragging me in her drama? I don't have anything to do with what my brother does between her. He's not even with her. They're friends. If she felt so threatened, she wasn't threatened when she needed my brother for a ride to work. I don't have anything to do with this situation. She's the one who came online talking shit. Coming. Because of the way it was done, because I'm exhausted and just barely won the elimination chairs, it also doesn't seem fair. He can cash in his championship match any time, any place. Sorry, you guys. Um, personal information my brother was telling me. He he was at the door. He came, but he had to go back to his car to do something. And I don't want people to get hear anything that is going on. But it's beside it's besides the point. This girl dragged me in her in her drama with my brother because of a roommate that she had climbing through her window, and literally, it's my fault. I don't have anything to do with this chick. I didn't even, I was playing, I was freaking playing Fortnite, which I'm probably going to go back and play, but I was literally freaking playing Fortnite. I was too busy eating my, my Little Caesars pizza. You see? Little Caesars. Anyways, you can't see because the green screen's on. I was too busy eating my pizza, minding my damn business. And this girl's trying to walk up to my room and dox it. You're literally, like, insane. Yes, Fortnite and Little Caesars is life. I didn't even, I didn't even do anything to this girl. I'm watching your damn dog that you didn't even watch. And I had to get dragged on a live stream. I literally got dragged on a freaking live stream by people in another live on here because they try to say I have another dog? That's your dog, but you didn't tell people that, did you? <laughs> like, I didn't go, I didn't go anywhere. I didn't go anywhere. Where did I go? I didn't go anywhere. Young Donald, why are you? No, I'll just leave Young Donald here. I really don't care. Well, um, it's not going good because we haven't found 
we haven't found her. Obviously, we've been looking um cuz there's a place that we look and they they post new dogs every day and there was one dog that we thought was her but the person was like, "No, it's not your dog." From the descriptions that we've been giving people, you know. But yeah. Go outside and look. I did look. When you're saying go outside and look, dummy, when my dog first went missing, we drove everywhere and looked. What do you mean go outside and look? I'm not going to tell you where I'm at because I know where I'm at. Like, if I go outside and look, she's not going to be there. I've already looked. I don't know what more looking you want me to do. I looked for a whole week straight. And I looked even after that. So don't tell me to do something that I've already done. Thank you. John Cena has a match against Rob Van Dam, an absolute darling to the ECW fans. So you're telling me I didn't, but I did. You don't know what I did or what I didn't do. You don't know. Oh yeah, I must have let her outside. <laughs> I mean, we did have to let my dog out to use the restroom, so. On John Cena's appearance last week? I haven't seen his appearance last week. Okay, I'm going to state my, um... Cena was not what was it? Oh, my opinions on The Rock coming back. Forced to plead guilty. And you think that the justice system is not against black people because you don't see racism. Racism doesn't exist. Racism doesn't exist. And you're more concerned about me supposing and a supposed what you think is a child abuser because he's already admitted he wasn't more so than me being a pd 3 right? A pedophile, so you claim. But that's more important than me being a pd 3 That's what we're focusing on. Because you want to say I'm guilty by association because I've been following him for like almost two years and I know that didn't happen. But you're listening to people that had a predator on their platform, platforming this guy when him and his wife beat their children. And they actually beat their children and his wife supposedly beat his children over food. But you want to listen to these people when one of them has a photo of himself in the bathtub with two kids. Oh, selective outrage. I don't have anything to say about that situation. I'm going to support who I want to support. And you're not going to stop me from supporting anyone. And what are you going to do? Be messy and be like, oh, we're going to crop these videos and send it to him to make it look like she's talking about him. It ain't going to work because I can follow and support whoever I want. And you're not stopping me. Get a live. Get a clue. Oh, and you're saying I'm supposed to believe that because you said so, knowing that I've been following this person for years and know the actual truth? I know that didn't happen. Oh, let's let the let's let the babysitter get away with it. That's why that's why justice doesn't get served. That's why other people get away with it. And that babysitter is gonna turn around and probably do it again to someone else's child. Because no one is outraged. Watch, she's gonna go do it to somebody else's kids. I don't see you doing this to other people. Let me tell you something. You guys, literally, that people in that Discord sat there falsely accusing his moderators of being pedophiles because of guilty by association. But yet, when it comes to me, it's true. Oh, you know, I knew it was coming. It was a matter of time before they started calling other people associated with him pedophiles i knew that was coming i already knew like i've dealt with these people i already know they was going to lie on someone else 
You could say I support whoever I want to. And you could say I gave up looking for her. She all I want. Cups of deliciously rich coffee with coffee she she literally gave us her dog because she couldn't take care of it. <laughs> why did you get a dog you couldn't take care of? If I gave up looking for her, she why was I taking care of your dog because you couldn't take care of it? I didn't give up looking for Hershey. But okay, says someone that has three cats and one dog in a motel room because her mom told her she had to get rid of both of her cats to live there. And she's been causing problems for herself because she refuses to get rid of cats that she kicks, hits, and abuses. I feel bad for those cats. Three cats and one dog in a motel room. And if I wasn't doing this for my safety, I would show you all the floor. I would show you all that we don't have pets in our motel room besides my dog, which I'm still looking for. <laughs> I'm not going to stop supporting anything, young Donald. You're not going to tell me who to stop supporting. I'll support who I want. Anyways, guys, I got to go because I'm going to go play um, probably Mario Odyssey. Uh, I want to play Mario and, you know, so on my Switch. But have a good day or night where you guys are. Stay safe. Make sure you are eating healthy. And I will see you guys later. Bye guys. Bye guys. I didn't order anything for DoorDash. That was my brother. But bye guys. Bye bye. And it's and it's it, this is like the highest live that I've had. I'll probably go live on here again later. But